Welcome back to Monday Night Raw, where tonight on the final Raw before Backlash, Kevin Owens will be forced to team with Karrion Cross as they take on the almighty Bobby Lashley and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus in an epic tag team main event. Plus, later tonight on Raw, Randy Orton, the number one contender for the WWE Championship, is set to take on Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam. An old rivalry renewed before Randy Orton competes inside Hell in a Cell this Sunday at Backlash. We are set to kick things off tonight with the finals of the number one contenders tournament. Who will face Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Gold? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric As Cedric Alexander makes his way to the ring, we want to remind you that Backlash will be live this Sunday night right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is going to be an epic live premiere. What a card we have for you that we're going to talk all about later tonight. Minneapolis is going to be rocking this Sunday. But who is going to fight Ilya Dragunov at the Target Center in Minnesota this Sunday night? We're going to find that out right here, right now. Over the last few weeks, we have witnessed the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship play out. These two men, Cedric Alexander and the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, have punched their ticket to the finals. But who is going to punch the golden ticket to fight the Invincible, Ilya Dragunov, for the championship this Sunday night on pay-per-view at Backlash? This is going to be one hell of a way to kick off an epic roll. We are live from Davenport, Iowa. Let's get it going. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, so far in this tournament, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Happy Corbin, as well as Judgment Day's Damian Priest. And as for Cedric Alexander, he owns victories over Tommaso Ciampa and in the New Day's Xavier Woods in the semifinals. But here we go tonight. These two men, Nakamura and Cedric Alexander, two fan favorites here on the red brand, ready to lock horns. Respect is there, but respect goes out the window when an Intercontinental Championship opportunity hangs in the balance. It'll be Ilya Dragunov's first championship defense since he won the gold back on February 25th at WrestleMania defeating the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Cannot wait to get the backlash this Sunday night. We got Raw right here, right now. Friday Night Smackdown at 5 p.m. on Friday. Of course, the channel member exclusive WWE Live event on Saturday night, and then backlash on Sunday. It's gonna be an epic week right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out. So here we go, Nakamura and Cedric Alexander. One-on-one, -on -one, number one contendership is at stake. Again, as you see on the screen, become a channel member today right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Receive one extra Universe Mode episode every month, and that kicks off this Saturday night with a WWE Live event on the eve of Backlash, which will feature the United States Championship on the line from SmackDown as Imperium's Gunther defends against Wes Lee. That is going to be an epic matchup and more going down Saturday night. As Cedric Alexander sends Nakamura for a ride there. You know, we have watched the rise and fall and rise again of Cedric Alexander on Raw over the last few months. A member of the Hurt Business, then of course the Hurt Business split apart in the November draft at the Survivor Series. Ever since then, Cedric Alexander's been fighting his way up the rankings here on Monday Night Raw. We've seen him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. Rob Van Dam, Pete Dunne, Randy Orton. And Cedric finally getting some W's in the win column over the last couple of weeks in the midst of this tournament. But tonight is where it matters most. And tonight, after that black hole slam by Nakamura, is the night that determines the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. Will it be that Nakamura, or will it be Alexander? Cedric gets the shoulder up. Again, Cedric has defeated. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cedric Alexander's got all tied up right now. Nakamura with the arm bar. Cedric taps out. Nakamura's going to Minneapolis on Sunday night. Alexander able to break it. Early submission hold there by Nakamura, not able to put Cedric away, but certainly some damage done on the opponent, as Nakamura has really been the aggressor this last minute or so. Into the cover again, Nakamura wants this victory, and he wants it early. I'm sure both of these men would love an early victory tonight and to save as much energy for the man they call the Invincible One, that being Ilya Dragunov, when the gold's on the line, Sunday! Alexander over the top rope, 
doing what he does best, throwing caution in the wind and coming out on the other side. Cedric Alexander has fought tooth and nail. We have seen the resilience of this young man over the last couple of months, hell, over the last couple of weeks alone. And Cedric wants that championship opportunity more than anything. Nakamura just trying to get his wits about him on the outside as Cedric has even the playing field in your opening match tonight, Monday Night Raw Live from Davenport, Iowa. And a nice right hand by Cedric. Now Alexander to the cover, Nakamura's foot under the rope, however. Nakamura heading back to the outside again. Cedric's got a, or I should say Nakamura's got a regroup here. Cedric Alexander starting to put the pieces together early on. Nakamura just taking a moment, not rushing in. He, we saw the aggressor be Nakamura in the first few minutes. Cedric again, as we said, even the playing field. And now Nakamura's got to come up with a new blueprint. And regaining his strategy and his composer has put him back in the driver's seat, at least for a moment. A nice drop kick by Cedric. Got a great night of action lined up for you here on Monday Night Raw. Still to come in your main event, four of the five men who will compete to become the number one contender for the WWE title at Backlash will compete in a tag team matchup. Kevin Owens, who normally teams up with Sami Zayn, is going to be forced to team up with Karrion Cross tonight. And anyway, Nakamura off the top rope. Nice maneuver there. Owens forced to team up with Karrion Cross as they will take on the Celtic warrior Sheamus, as well as the almighty Bobby Lashley. It's going to be a hard hit and heavyweight battle in the main event. Meanwhile, Nakamura bringing this thing to the outside, and Cedric goes face first on the floor. Again, Nakamura owns victories over Happy Corbin in the first round. Defeated Damian Priest of the Judgment Day in the second round, which was a hard-hitting affair. Nakamura, or should I say Cedric Alexander, has not had any easy task on his way to the finals. Won a hell of a matchup against Tommaso Ciampa a few weeks ago, and then last week here on Raw, himself and Xavier Woods tearing down the house. And ultimately, Alexander was able to pick up the victory. Right now, Alexander is worse for wear. Nakamura, I have to say, is... Been in the driver's seat for the majority of this matchup so far, but never count out Cedric Alexander. We've talked long and hard about the heart and soul, the intestinal fortitude of Cedric Alexander, and he is on full display of that tonight. And this is trying to outrun Nakamura right now, which is smart by Cedric. Use his speed and agility to his advantage. Nakamura, obviously the king of strong style. Cedric's got to do his best to counteract that tonight. Another drop kick by Alexander. Focusing on the essentials, on the basics. And using anything he can to take down Nakamura. Into the cover off the snap suplex, and Shinsuke gets the shoulder up. Now, wait a minute, Alexander springboard, tornado DDT. Nice move by Alexander. Nakamura back to the outside there, and Shinsuke, you see, every time, as Alexander sends him over that time willingly, every time Nakamura has found himself in trouble, he's Kind of escaped Cedric Alexander, but Alexander knows how to follow them. Cross body over the top rope, and Nakamura hits the floor hard. Cedric bringing this out. I was about to say back into the ring, but Nakamura just colliding with the steel ring post there. Now Cedric making his way. Looks to drop the axe hammer, but there's Nakamura getting out of the way. Nakamura is on the run right now. He's got to keep his eye on Cedric Alexander. Looks to cut him in half in the corner. Back in the ring. Nakamura, wait a minute, cuts him off. We've seen this in recent weeks. I thought he could be going for that Death Valley driver. But Alexander able to get out of it. Wait a minute, Cedric Alexander going for a brain buster there on Nakamura. Will that do it? Cedric to go to the backlash, and Nakamura gets the shoulder up. Close call there by Cedric Alexander. But the King of Strong Style rolls on in this match as Cedric's heading to the top rope, where he's most comfortable. Nakamura's on spaghetti legs. Here comes Alexander with the crossbody, immediately into the cover. No waste in motion by Cedric, and Nakamura again gets the shoulder off the canvas. You see Alexander is keeping the foot on the gas pedal as Nakamura is still down and out. And Alexander may have gone high risk too many times. Crash and burn, and Nakamura's back in control. Alexander finds himself in trouble. There's a King Shasa by Shinsuke Nakamura. And this one's got to be done and over with. No! The same way Nakamura defeated Damian Priest, defeated Happy Corbin, 
Alexander is able to survive, and there's a neck breaker by Cedric. Nakamura may have, may have thrown his best strike at Cedric Alexander with that King Shasa. Cedric survived. And now he's still fighting here. Wait a minute, goes behind, goes for the lumbar check, but Nakamura counters. Well, we have got a good one here kicking us off tonight. Davenport, Iowa, the final Monday Night Raw before backlash in Minneapolis this Sunday night. And Alexander drops the knee. This match starts to go into deep waters. Hopefully these men are gonna have enough left in the tank to fight Ilya Dragunov this Sunday for the Intercontinental Championship, whoever that may be. Collar and elbow there, Alexander pulls it back in, there's another knee strike. And Nakamura rolls to the outside again, doing anything he can to avoid the onslaught of Cedric Alexander multiple times in this matchup. Oh, wait a minute, Alexander going high risk again! But Cedric Alexander finds nobody home. Nakamura letting him crash and burn at ringside. And Cedric just handing the momentum to Nakamura of this matchup on a silver platter. At least for a moment there. Nakamura back into the ring. Cedric is on his tail. Now Alexander's heading to the top rope. Cedric is really risking a lot in this matchup off these high risk maneuvers. That time it connects. Nice cross, or excuse me, nice clothesline from the top rope and out going back up. Cedric knows what he's got to do to keep Sinjuke Nakamura down, but Nakamura again gets out of the way. Alexander may be his own worst enemy in this match. King Shasta number two off the misstep by Cedric Alexander. And that'll do it. What a fight to kick us off here on Monday Night Raw. But Cedric Alexander's best offense may have been his own worst detriment tonight. Went a high risk to no avail on multiple occasions. Survived one King Shasta, but there's no getting up from a second by the King of Strong Style himself. Nakamura on his way to backlash. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Happy Corbin, Damian Priest, now Cedric Alexander. Shinsuke Nakamura has earned his opportunity. And this Sunday in Minneapolis, Shinsuke goes one-on-one -on -one with the invincible Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship. That is going to be a hard-hitting affair this Sunday night on Pay-Per-View. We're back live here on Monday Night Raw from Davenport, Iowa. And the man who will compete inside hell in a cell this Sunday night, the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Randy Orton is here, is live, and is in action. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. The Viper, Randy Orton! This man, Randy Orton, has been intertwined with his former best friend, Matt Riddle, for the last year. And the WWE Championship has now come between them. At WrestleMania, Matt Riddle ended the reign of the Viper for the WWE Championship in no holds barred. Randy Orton not letting down that fact and will not live with himself until he finally puts Matt Riddle to bed for good and takes back the WWE Championship. And he is going to have that opportunity once and for all this Sunday night, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Target Center, Backlash. It'll be Randy Orton, Matt Riddle, inside hell in the cell for the WWE Championship with the avid, added caveat that the loser of that matchup will be forced to leave Monday Night Raw which will lead to the ultimate end of this year-long story. There will be no rest for the weary. It is all or nothing this Sunday night between Orton and Riddle. We will finally have a conclusion in this long-storied rivalry between these two men. And there you see it. Matt Riddle, Randy Orton, hell in a cell, loser leaves Raw. We haven't seen Matt Riddle in weeks, of course, since he was ambushed by Solo Sokoa. We're going to talk more about that in moments, but here comes Randy Orton's opponent here tonight. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. 
Well, Rob Van Dam, good friend of Matt Riddle, sticking up for the original bro and looking to take it to an old rival in Randy Orton tonight. It was only a few months ago when Orton was the WWE Champion that these two men went one-on-one -on -one in Elimination Chamber. It could have very well been Rob Van Dam heading into WrestleMania for the WWE title against Matt Riddle. But of course, we know how that went. And of course, a few weeks ago, as we mentioned, Matt Riddle ambushed by Solo Sokoa. And of course, I think we have put two and two together by now that Randy Orton was the one who paid off the street champ to take care of the WWE Champion. That, of course, coming after Triple H, one of the men in charge here in World Wrestling Entertainment instituted that Riddle and Orton could not lay a finger on each other before backlash or there would be serious repercussions. And unfortunately, we haven't seen Matt Riddle since, but he will be back and he will be live in that ring this Sunday at Backlash. Randy Orton, however, has got a little warm up against Rob Van Dam tonight. And it will be no easy matchup. Orton already on the ground and pound offense. I'm sure Orton would like to make this matchup as short and sweet as possible and save his energy for this Sunday at Backlash. This is the first time Warren's been in action since losing the WWE Championship on February 26th on WrestleMania Sunday. But of course, the last time we saw Warren in this ring was a few weeks ago when he ambushed Matt Riddle. After Matt Riddle successfully defended the WWE Championship against Sami Zayn, Orton putting Riddle through a table on that night. And I'm sure Matt Riddle has not forgotten. It's a long storied rivalry. with so much bad blood between Orton and Riddle. Finally comes to an end this Sunday. I cannot wait to get to Minneapolis and quite frankly, see what's gonna happen inside hell in a cell. You know how dangerous Randy Orton is inside of that structure. It was back at Survivor Series in November that he initially won the WWE title against Edge inside hell in a cell. You gotta think even though Riddle's the champion, Randy Orton is most likely the favorite come this Sunday. Orton's been inside the structure multiple times. This will be Riddle's first ever hell in a cell match. And Barron Randy Orton comes out of this matchup injury free. God only knows the condition of Matt Riddle heading in to Backlash this Sunday. And again, he went into WrestleMania with Tate Ribs. He can never count out the original bro, the WWE Champion. Let's focus on the action inside of the ring right now. Rob Van Dam, Randy Orton right here in Davenport. And down goes the Apex Predator. RVD and Orton, no strangers to each other. Maybe no championships on the line tonight, but I'm sure RVD not only wants to do one good for his friend Matt Riddle, but would love to get his win back from Elimination Chamber in January. Orton sending RVD to the outside. Randy Orton certainly is going to soak it in and take his time in this matchup. The cold-hearted son of a bitch that is the Apex Predator. Looks to become WWE Champion yet again when we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday night. RVD may have shown his best hand so far in this matchup because Randy Orton has been the aggressor ever since the opening bell. Orton wants to get this match done and over with and wants to be on the first, first plane out of here heading to Minneapolis. RVD now into the cover off that reversal. Randy Orton able to survive another moment. So to come tonight here on Raw, epic tag team main event, the almighty Bobby Lashley, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, going to be side by side as they take on the prize fighter Kevin Owens and the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross. A man RVD knows very well. It's only a few weeks ago that RVD had his WrestleMania rematch against Karrion Cross. Anything goes on that night, of course. RVD falling short to Karrion Cross again. Just another reason Rob Van Dam wants to get a win here tonight. A much needed victory for Mr. Monday Night himself. It's looking good right now. Goes for the mood salt and Orton gets out of the way. Crash and burn and a Luthez by Randy Orton. RVD down and out right now. Randy Orton certainly enjoying his handiwork. Oh no. And this is vintage Randy Orton off the neck breaker. And Orton's already so dangerous in your normal wrestling matchup. We saw how brutal he can be at WrestleMania. He may have came out on the lose again, but he certainly did a number to Matt Riddle from bell to bell on that night in Tampa Bay. And just imagine all the bad blood between Orton and Matt Riddle and what Orton is gonna be capable of inside Hell in the Cell where there are no rules, there are no restrictions. They are surrounded by Satan's prison itself. And only one man can leave the WWE Champion in Hell. Only one man's gonna leave still with a job on Monday nights. 
That's the only way to end this thing is to completely separate him for good, but one more final clash, the end-all, be-all, and to decide who is going to be the WWE Champion, who is going to be waving the flag of Monday Night Raw. This fight getting taken to the outside here, and RVD, after going rib cage first into the announce table, Orton drops the knee right on the forehead of Mr. Monday Night himself, and now sends him into the steel steps. This is where Randy Orton takes things to another level, instituting that brutality in this matchup. RVD has shown some signs of life throughout this matchup. It may be worse for wear. Wait a minute. This thing's spilling out into the audience here. We gotta be careful. We ain't working with pads on the floor. We're working with concrete. Orton takes out RVD, and I think Randy Orton just wants to get a count out victory. And as we mentioned earlier, being the first play out of here, heading for Minneapolis. Referee, I believe he's at a count of nine right now. RVD's gotta get back in, and he does. RVD almost counted out. Orton wanted the victory. RVD having none of it, and now here comes Van Dam, rolling thunder! RVD gonna pull up the upset on Randy Orton, no! Almost had the Viper there. Oh, wait a minute, RVD going to the top rope, and Randy Orton making sure that what I assume RVD had in mind, the five-star frog splash, wasn't gonna happen here tonight. Now Orton back in control, and a snap of the fingers there. RVD is down, and Randy Orton once again taking his time, beating down his opponent. I'm sure he hopes Matt Riddle is watching this at home, resting his injuries from that fall he took by the hands of Solo Sokoa a few weeks ago. Oh, wait a minute now, Orton is going for a power bomb on RVD. That he does! Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We're back live here on Monday Night Raw. RVD taking the fight to Randy Orton. Orton's down and out. And will RVD not only do one good for Matt Riddle, but pick up a big time, much needed victory in his own career? The number one contender for the WWE title is down. RVD now. Got dropped with that powerbomb before the commercial break. RVD was looking for an Alabama slam, but Randy Orton hits another powerbomb on Rob Van Dam. Randy Orton enjoying his handiwork as RVD rolls to the outside trying to catch a breather and could we be looking at the next WWE Champion, that man who stands tall inside the squared circle. A stiff shot by Randy Orton. Just loading on RVD right now and RVD is definitely worse for wear. This is not good. Oh no. Orton sitting in upon the top rope and all oh, looking for this elevated DDT that we have seen him put many men away with. And I think we know what comes next. RKO. Or into the cover and it's academic at this point. Randy Orton picks up the victory. RVD goes down in a blaze of glory. And Randy Orton has certainly made a statement tonight. Are we looking at the next WWE Champion? Whether you like him or not, Randy Orton is one of the most dangerous competitors to ever step foot inside the squared circle. And when he locks horns with Matt Riddle inside Hell in a Cell. Oh, wait a minute. RVD's on the outside of the ring. Randy Orton here. No, come on, the match is over with. Randy Orton has got his eyes locked on the man he just defeated. This thing is done and over with right now. Randy Orton, come on now. Trying to send a message to Matt Riddle, inflicting more punishment on his opponent tonight on Raw. The match is over with, and Randy Orton here sends an RVD right into the announce table. This is not good. Matt Riddle not in the building tonight. Oh no. 
Randy Orton has got the sledgehammer, and he has used that very weapon on Matt Riddle in the past. And now he uses it on RVD tonight, trying to send a statement to the WWE Champion that there will be no mercy, there will be no remorse inside Hell in a Cell. Are we looking at the next WWE Champion this Sunday at Backlash? Well, the action continues tonight on Raw with the man we just discussed, the street champ, Sol Sokoa, one-on-one -on -one with R-Truth, plus the Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. And the results of those contests see Sol Sokoa picking up the victory tonight on Raw. Plus, Ilya Dragunov builds momentum towards his match with Shinsuke Nakamura this Sunday. Intercontinental Champion victorious over Shelton Benjamin tonight here on Raw. We're back live here on Monday Night Raw from Davenport, Iowa. And one of the five women that will compete this Sunday is set for action. Coming up at Backlash, it's the five women elimination matchup for the WWE Women's title. Asuka defends against Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, and the woman who's about to compete inside that squared circle, the Queen of Hearts, Natalia. Asuka has been dominating since January 1st as the WWE Women's Champion. Hell, even before that, had a small blemish in the record. Lost the championship for about a month to Shotzi, but Asuka has certainly turned away every single challenger in here, her way. And as for Natalia tonight, she's got her hands full with a woman who, what we understand, is now associating herself with Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. The Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, back in action here on Monday Night Raw. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea. Well, Rhea Ripley has not had the best success the last few times we've seen her in that ring. Hell, she had a few opportunities to become the WWE Women's Champion in the summer of 2022. Unfortunately, came up short. So maybe this new partnership alongside Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day, three collective minds all there to essentially better each other, I guess. Maybe it'll do Rhea Ripley some good. But will it start here tonight? Natalia's got to be motivated. She has had a few recent losses. To Becky Lynch and then of course that tag team matchup recently here on Raw with Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss defeating Becky and Natalya in tag team action. Natalya is going to be one of five women to compete for the women's championship this Sunday. But before she gets to Minneapolis, she's got to get through the nightmare Rhea Ripley who at the end of the day, no matter what the record shows, is not going to be an easy task. And I'm sure Rhea is coming out motivated tonight. She sees one of the number one contenders for the women's championship standing in her way. Rhea wants to make a statement and put her name in the hat as a future challenger for the women's title. And a super kick leg drop combination with those tree trunk legs. The strong style of Rhea Ripley certainly can help her get that W tonight. And again, this Sunday night, Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow, who has turned away any and all challengers, now has her biggest task to date. Four challengers in one matchup. Five women elimination. Asuka defends the title against Natalia, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, and the man Becky Lynch. It's going to be very interesting to see how that matchup plays about. The chaos is going to ensue. And not only that match, but of course the five-man elimination challenge as well. It's going to be a hell of a night this Sunday night at Backlash, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Once again, we'll be live right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And we're gonna run down the whole card in just a few minutes here on Monday Night Raw. And don't forget to become a channel member. You can hit the join button down below and you will gain access to the WWE live event that goes down just 24 hours before Backlash from Springfield, Illinois. It will feature a handful of matches as well. One of those being the United States Championship from SmackDown. Imperium's Gunther defends the gold for the first time since winning it at WrestleMania against Wes Lee. This is going to be one hell of a matchup, but again, you'll only gain access to that content if you're a channel member. So hit the join button down below to become one today. Back to the action inside of the ring. You see Natalia there. 
muscling up Rhea Ripley with that seated power bomb. Not enough to put her away, but certainly some damage had to be done on the nightmare. Natalia is in that much needed victory column tonight. She may be in that women's championship matchup this Sunday, but you don't want to go in lacking the least momentum. This will hurt your confidence. And if you ain't going in to a matchup with Asuka, and I'll bite three other women as well, then I don't think you're going to be most successful in that matchup. You need the confidence. You need to feel good. You need to have some kind of momentum on your side. And Natalia is in much need of getting her hand raised tonight. Nice counter and a drop kick of her own to Rhea Ripley. Natalia's got to be feeling it right now. And here comes the nightmare from behind. Can never take your eyes off the dangerous and destructive Rhea Ripley. Now aligning herself with Damian Priest and Finn Bauer of the Judgment Day. They're not out here tonight. We saw Damian Priest and Bauer standing side by side last week here on Raw. They'll be back soon, and the Judgment Day will be in full force here on the red brand for the very first time. Meanwhile, Ripley, look at the strength here. What a delayed vertical suplex on Natalia. Just letting the blood rush to the head of one of the challengers for the women's title. Natalia able to avoid whatever Ripley had in mind. Drops her with the clothesline there. Very impressive by the Queen of Hearts. Now another drop kick takes her off her feet again. You see Ripley both times just bouncing back to her feet. Got to give Ripley credit where credit's due for someone of her size and strength. She certainly has a lot of agility and some speed to move around in that ring. Natalia doesn't give a damn who's in her way tonight. She just needs a victory, and she needs it now. Meanwhile, Natalia could be looking. You looking for the sharpshooter or no? Tying Ripley up in another submission hold here. Look at this, just dragging the limbs, pulling on him here, trying to dislocate the knees, dislocate the arms of Rhea Ripley. I don't know if she's going to be able to outstrength Rhea here. Not many women, if any, who are stronger than Ripley in the women's locker room there. What a German snooplex. Snap of the hips by Natalia sends Ripley for a ride, and Ripley able to kick out there, but certainly Natalia is getting closer and closer to victory. There's a counter by the Nightmare. Ripley sees Natalia as a target. If she can defeat her tonight, she can certainly put herself in line for a future women's championship matchup against whoever leaves Minneapolis with the gold. You see, this is very smart by Rhea Ripley. She sent Natalia to the outside and then just letting her get back in the ring just to send her out again. Ripley, we needed those few moments. Needed to rest, needed to recuperate, needed to get her head on straight as Natalia finds herself back into the ring. And now Rhea Ripley's ready to strike. Very smart there by the Nightmare who sends Natalia up and down to the canvas. The momentum has shifted to the black and purple in the ring. Great night of action here on Monday Night Raw. It has been Davenport, Iowa. It's been hot and heavy all night. Everybody is ready for backlash this Sunday. What a way to kick off what is going to be a huge week here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Natalia on the outside. Oh, wait a minute. Are you following her? You don't want to get into a brawl with Rhea Ripley on the outskirts of the ring. That is for sure. Natty back into the ring. And the nightmare is on her tails. But what is Rhea Ripley cooking up inside that brain of hers? to put Natalia down tonight. They have hated, or waited too long, excuse me, a little bit of hesitation by Rhea. Now Natalia there, whips her off. And here we go, Natalia unloading. Natalia knows the momentum that's at stake, but there's a counter by Rhea. And I thought the King of Strong Style wrestled earlier tonight, but these two women throwing haymakers at each other in this contest. And now collar and elbow there. Rhea whips the super kick. Meanwhile, Natalia, wait a minute, I think she's going for Rhea's up and over on him, and she does! A riptide on the woman who does it best! And Ripley gets the shoulder up, but gotta give credit where credit's due. Natalia getting creative there, able to muscle up the stronger competitor, using her own move on her. Not able to put the nightmare away, but Natalia is thinking up some strategy inside of that ring. Thinking on her feet is the Queen of Hearts. And Natalia going to the legs, could have been going for the sharpshooter, and Ripley able to escape there. Rhea's got to be fired up after Natalia just hit her with her own maneuver. The rift tied, and my goodness, that's a knockout big boot if I ever saw one. 
And now Rhea, eyes locked on Natalya. And Rhea gonna show Natty how it's done. There's the riptide from the originator into the cover. And I don't think there's any waking up from that. Natalya gets the shoulder up. And we have got a good one here on Monday Night Raw. Davenport, Iowa, certainly appreciating the talents of these two women. Rhea Ripley showing Natalya how it started with that rip tie, but Natalya lives to fight another moment in this matchup. Man, after this matchup, what kind of condition is Natalya going to be in? She's going to contest with five other women this Sunday night on pay per view, one of those being the dominating and intimidating Asuka. She's got to survive Rhea Ripley tonight, however. Nice kick to the back there. Natalia's got to get this done. She's got to get it done now. She's able to survive the riptide. She can't avoid, or should be, can't afford too much more offense. But there's Natalia locking in the sharpshooter there. You see her putting the pressure, and Rhea Ripley's got nowhere to go. Rhea taps out, and that's a huge win for one of four women that will challenge for the championship of the women's division this Sunday night on pay-per-view. And Natalia pulled out the rip tie. There you see it right there. Rhea pulled out one of her own. And Natalia went to the books with what she does best. The sharpshooter. Nobody does it better than the hearts. And Rhea nowhere to go. Tap it out in Davenport tonight. Here is your winner, Natalia. Will Natalia be the new women's champion? She's got to step foot in that ring with Alexa Bliss. Liv Morgan, the man Becky Lynch, and of course, the dominating WWE Women's Champion Asuka. It is a five women elimination matchup, but it goes down this Sunday in Minneapolis at WWE Backlash. On the eve of Backlash, it is a WWE live event for channel members only. Hit the join button down below, become a channel member, and you will receive access to these special events once per month. And it starts this Saturday night with the United States Championship from Friday Night SmackDown on the line as Imperium's Gunther defends the title against Wesley, a David and Goliath affair for the United States title this Saturday night in Springfield, Illinois. Plus, sign for WWE Live, a grudge to be settled as Finn Balor from the Judgment Day takes on Montez Ford of the Street Profits. That's gonna be a high offense, exhilarating affair this Saturday night at WWE Live in Springfield. And all roads lead to this Sunday night at Backlash. We are live from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Sunday night. April the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern start time, a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And in the main event, hell in a cell, loser leaves Monday Night Raw. The WWE Championship is on the line in the final chapter of a year-long story between the original bro, Matt Riddle, and the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. As we determined earlier tonight, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. New number one contender, Shinsuke Nakamura, goes one-on-one -on -one with the invincible Ilya Dragunov in what should be a hard-hitting affair. This matchup signed after this past Friday night SmackDown. The Viking Raiders find themselves in an opportune position. Can they take down Mustafa Ali and the one and only Ricochet for the WWE World Tag Team titles? It is a WrestleMania rematch. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes wants his win back. He is set to go one-on-one -on -one with all-day Austin Theory, who has defeated Cody Rhodes in the past. But what will happen this Sunday in the Mania rematch? It's the five-woman elimination challenge for the WWE Women's Championship. Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Natalya, Liv Morgan, and the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who will leave Minneapolis as the Women's Champion. It's the SmackDown main event. The franchise, John Cena, is on the search for number 17, but the chosen one, Drew McIntyre, fulfilled his destiny at WrestleMania and ain't looking to give up the world title anytime soon. McIntyre, Cena, one-on-one. -on -one. And it is the five-man elimination matchup to determine the number one contender for the WWE title. Lashley, Owens, Sheamus, Cross, and the hometown boy, the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar is back. All that this Sunday night on pay-per-view at Backlash. But it is Monday Night Raw in Davenport, Iowa, and it is main event time. Tag Team Affair, K 
Kevin Owens, Karrion Cross take on Bobby Lashley and Sheamus with a whole lot of momentum on the line. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin No Sami Zayn in the corner of Kevin Owens tonight as he is being forced to team up with a man I'm sure he isn't happy about. The harbinger of doom carrying cross. But all four of these men, they may be on opposing sides this Sunday, but as I just mentioned, momentum is on the line. And especially when you add the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar to the mix and an opportunity to become the WWE Champion, you want to have as much momentum as possible Heading towards that five-man elimination matchup this Sunday night. It'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Live chat will be open. It is a live premiere for WWE Backlash. But as for Monday Night Raw, as for Kevin Owens' tag team partner, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, brings a mysterious and ominous presence to this building. It was just a few weeks ago that Karrion Cross knocked the lights out of Mr. Monday Night Rob Van Dam for the second time in recent memory. And Karrion Cross now finds himself in an opportune state to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship. And just imagine who's going to be the champion after Sunday when it's Matt Riddle and Randy Orton one on one. You survive Hell in the Cell, and then you have one of these five men awaiting you in the coming weeks afterwards. Certainly no rest for the weary, no easy path when you're the top of the champ, when you're top of the mountain as the WWE champion here on Monday Night Raw. The ominous Scarlet bringing the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross to ringside for your main event of Monday Night Raw. You know, it was recently that Karrion Cross, just a few months ago, was challenging for the Intercontinental Championship. It may not have gone his way. Look how the path has turned out for Cross. He now finds himself in just one opportunity away from having a chance to become WWE Champion. And if any man can survive the Beast Incarnate, the Almighty, the Celtic Warrior, and a prize fighter, you got to look at the man who only has one blemish on his record since he returned to WWE back in the fall. That being the former NXT champion, Karrion Cross. And it's going to be all hell breaking loose this Sunday. And I just got a feeling all hell's going to break loose in this main event here on Monday Night Raw. Kevin Owens at ringside, Karrion Cross inside of the squared circle as we await their tag team opponents tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, I got a feeling that it is fight night in Davenport. Sheamus has arrived for your main event. And representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Well, Sheamus' new protege, Ridge Holland, not a, accompanying the Celtic Warrior tonight. Sheamus is all focused on this tag team matchup and taking care of business ahead of Sunday night in Minneapolis. Sheamus has got to team up with the almighty Bobby Lashley. I mean, if, if one team's got a better chance of coexisting, I guess you could say it's them, but you got four combustible elements in there, and everybody's mind has just got to be on gaining that momentum and gaining a shot at the WWE title. How are they going to coexist and focus on this tag team matchup remains to be seen. Well, if there's any man who loves the fight just as much as Sheamus, look no further than the almighty. You know, it was one year ago at WWE Backlash that Bobby Lashley walked in as the WWE Champion. One year later, after a successful United States Championship reign over on SmackDown, he's drafted back to Monday Night Raw, and he's got a chance to make his way to the top of the mountain again. 
Four other men stand in Lashley's way, but the Almighty is certainly focused and certainly ready on destruction come this Sunday. And I don't think Lashley cares whether it's Riddle or Orton, two men who he's got a lot of history with. And hell, Bobby Lashley was at once pinned as the guy who took out Riddle, remember almost a year ago by Randy Orton. Obviously the truth came out after SummerSlam last year, but regardless, Bobby Lashley knows Orton and Riddle very well, and I'm sure he would not mind taking the WWE Championship away from either one of those competitors. But here we go, it is your main event, Davenport, Iowa, the go home Monday Night Raw before Backlash this Sunday, and we are underway. Kevin Owens and Karrion Cross taking on Sheamus and Bobby Lashley. Sheamus unloading on the prize fighter right now. Last time we saw Kevin Owens in action was at WrestleMania when himself and Sami Zayn defeated AJ Styles in the Rated R Superstar Edge. We have not seen Edge since that matchup. That matchup, of course, aided Kevin Owens in the gaining victory without having to qualify for the Backlash match this Sunday. Same thing with Karrion Cross. He defeated Rob Van Dam at WrestleMania. And that granted him access into the matchup this Sunday as well. As for their two opponents tonight, Lashley and Sheamus, who are working very well as a team so far. Karrion Cross, wait a minute, tagged himself in. I don't think Lashley realized that the Harbinger of Doom from behind, whipping Lashley off, the side elbow takes the Almighty down. As we were mentioning, though, both Lashley and Sheamus, the two men who had to qualify for the five man elimination challenge. Bobby Lashley defeating Big E and Braun Strowman in a horse fight of a triple threat match. And then last week here on Raw, Sheamus defeating Seth Rollins in the main event. Nonetheless, all five men certainly earning their spots one way or another to compete in the number one contenders match on Sunday night. And certainly whoever walks out the number one contender ain't gonna do so without earning it and scratching and clawing their way through all the other men in that matchup. Oh, look at this, Kevin Owens and Karrion Cross coming in with a blueprint tonight to try to eliminate one of their challengers before we even get to Minneapolis. And a tag made to Sheamus. Kevin Owens back in. And we are back where we started with the prize fighter and the Celtic Warrior right now. This has been a hell of a tag team matchup. We're only about two minutes in, but they are throwing haymakers at each other. And just imagine, when it's all five men in the ring at one time, you add Brock Lesnar to the equation, and a championship opportunity is on the line. Chaos is going to ensue, I assure you that. Sheamus with the uppercut on Kevin Owens, and down goes Owens. Again, Sami Zayn not out in the corner of Kevin Owens tonight. As Owens being forced to team with Karrion Cross. Sami Zayn making sure he's out of the way. Oh, wait a minute, a scoop slam by the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus looking good, gotta keep his eyes on KO. Tag made to Karrion Cross. Oh, wait a minute here, very interesting situation. Sheamus has been waiting damn near months to get his hands on Karrion Cross again. Remember, these two men met one one back on Monday Night Raw. In early February, and it went to a no contest, which eventually led to RVD and Karrion Cross's situation. But Sheamus has not been able to get his hands on Cross since. And I'm sure the Celtic Warrior has been chomping at the bit to reignite that flame with the Harbinger of Doom himself. They lock horns yet again in this tag team matchup, and they will do so once again this Sunday at Backlash. Arian Cross to his feet. Sheamus has not forgotten about that night on Raw in February. There's a nice backbreaker to Cross. Tilt to whirl. Kevin Owens breaking things up. And here comes the almighty Bobby Lashley. And chaos already ensuing in this tag team matchup. And tonight's all about momentum. Meanwhile, Sheamus looking to end things early. Down goes Cross in a blaze of glory into the cover. Sheamus is going to pick up the victory. Will that do it? No. Cross gets the shoulder up. Your main event here in Davenport rolls on another moment. What a matchup it has been so far. And Sheamus with a bro kick to carry and cross. Sheamus is going to pick up the victory. Hand cross his second loss so far. But carry and cross gets the shoulder up. And if that isn't a testament to just how tough and almost impossible it is to keep Karrion Cross down for a three count. Look no further than right there. Only one man's been able to do it since he's returned to WWE. That was the Bruiser Ray Pete Dunn back at Elimination Chamber in January. Nonetheless, Karrion Cross needs the tag. Tags in Kevin Owens. Bobby Lashley's in as well. And Lashley and Owens, no strangers to each other. 
I got a rivalry dating back almost five years ago here on Monday Night Raw, but nonetheless, Kevin Owens now goes behind on Lashley, snaps the hips with the German. And there's no light man able to get up and throw like that. Impressive move by KO. Tags back in, carrying Cross. And Lashley, my goodness! Sending Cross out of the ring with that clothesline and sends Kevin Owens back into the ring. Lashley doesn't give a damn who's the legal man. Lashley is hurting to kill tonight. And Cross back to the ring. Wait a minute, gotta keep your eyes on the legal competitor. Because there's that Saito by Cross, and he may have just ended the night. Sheamus in to break things up. Yeah, this has been a fight if I've ever saw one. As Cross takes Sheamus over the top rope, Lashley takes care of Owens. Even playing field now, one on one between the Almighty and Cross. And Bobby Lashley's got his eyes locked on the opponent. They earn the opportunity to join the match at Backlash with this very maneuver. Hurt Lock's locked in, but Kevin Owens in to break things up. Lashley making sure none of that's gonna happen. Wait a minute, Cross going for the straight jacket. Submission hold for submission hold. And this time it's Sheamus breaking things up. My God, we're gonna need five referees in there come Sunday to keep involved. Or should say keep up with all the action. God only knows what's gonna happen when it's all five men in the ring at once. These four add Brock Lesnar to the equation. Wait a minute, Cross looking to end things here. Almost had him and Lashley gets the shoulder up. And the fight continues in your main event tonight, Go Home Raw, Davenport, Iowa, just days before Backlash. Lashley sends down Cross. Back and forth, we start to go here between these two dominating forces. Cross into the corner. Lashley was going to cut him in half. Cross got the knee up. Sheamus with a cheap shot. And Cross with another elbow on Lashley. Lashley is dazed and confused. There's the tag to Kevin Owens, the former United States champion who dominated Friday Night SmackDown for months. Needs to get back into this matchup now or never. He's got Owens in the corner. Lashley with a strike. What a knock Owens lights out for good. Oh, wait a minute. Don't take your eyes off the prize fighter. Could be looking for that spin out slam. Down goes Lashley. Owens into the cover. Sheamus breaking things up, however. Wait a minute, carrying Cross and Sheamus locking horns. Cross just took care of Sheamus. Meanwhile, Kevin Owens, a stutter on Lashley. And I think that's gonna do it. Kevin Owens and Karrion Cross pick up the tag team victory tonight on Raw. Well, momentum certainly in their corner come this Sunday night at Backlash. That was a hell of a fight, a hell of a monstrous brawl between... Wait, wait a minute! Cut, cut back, back to the ring! Ladies and gentlemen, the beast and card is here! The fifth man in the equation! This Sunday at Backlash, the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar is back for the first time since defeating the Nigerian giant Omos at WrestleMania Saturday. Oh man, business has just picked up in Davenport, Iowa, ahead of Lesnar's homecoming in Minneapolis this Sunday. But what is Lesnar doing out here? The match is done and over with. But things for Lesnar are just getting started as Brock has hit the ring and he's going after your winners of this tag team main event. He's got Owens up. F5 by Lesnar. Oh, keep your eyes on Kerry and Cross. Kerry and Cross is going after Brock. And we've said it before, we'll say it again. Chaos is ensuing here on Monday Night Raw, but don't take your eyes off the alpha male. To carry a cross. Oh, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens trying to sneak up on Lesnar. He wanted the stunner. Brock Lesnar, however, wants a second F5 on the prize fighter. Brock Lesnar has resurfaced tonight and ahead of backlash this Sunday has sent a message to Kevin Owens, sent a message to carry a cross, Bobby Lashley, and Sheamus as well. Five men will enter that ring. 
but only one man will be left standing and become the new number one contender for the WWE Championship. Who will that be? We find out this Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, live right here on the Nation Gaming YouTube channel when WWE goes to Backlash. Hey, so I'm on a chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.